and style, style and groove, whichever one comes for you. It's a very wet and a cold day, but um, it's a day that we must all um, be attentive to. And um, there is so much going on in the country. Uh, there is so much... Um, uh, going on um, in the Niger Delta in River State, uh, people have to take notice of what uh, of what is going on um, because a lot is a lot is um, is at stake. Today is the third of um, of July, uh, two thousand and nineteen. Um, we will be looking um, at the burning issue of. Ruga, cattle rearing, cattle ranching, um, headsmen, foreigners, illegal foreigners, immigrants, illegal immigrants, um, indigenous people, um, the future of Nigeria, the survival of the people of the different over uh, 400 perhaps uh, ethnic nationalities um, that make up Nigeria. It is a known fact that uh, over 350 ethnic nationalities exist in Nigeria, are members, uh, citizens of Nigeria. Um, and all of these uh, people are indigenous uh, to, uh, to the Nigerian country. Um, as of uh, 1914, uh, when um, Lugard created uh, Nigeria. Um, we have come full circle. We are right um, at the point where the decision must be made by all the ethnic groups individually for themselves, um, their survival, who is in control of the survival of our people and how do uh, how do we maintain um, our rights we're talking of ruga uh, today um, we're talking of um, a situation that uh, is um, is being set up particularly primarily for one um, ethnic group um, that is um, uh, the, where their culture and their religion is being put in the front burner. Um, their way of life is being uh, protected um, against the way of life of every other um, ethnic, um, ethnic nations in, uh, in Nigeria. Um, this is very, very worrisome. Um, personally, I have maintained that as far as I am concerned, um, it is not politics, it is not even political. Um, the survival of indigenous people um, is a right and we must fiercely protect um, this right. Now, um, we know the history of Nigeria, at least some of us who are fortunate enough to have been in uh, the education system when uh, history was not banned in Nigeria. Because today, the history of Nigeria, as I was taught, and as anybody within my, uh, my age group was taught, um, does not exist in Nigeria. Um, a lot of people that were born after the, 19, uh, the end of the war, 1970, or even just before uh, the end of the war, have no idea that Nigeria had a, a history apart from what they know. And that is because the history of Nigeria, how we came to be, was not taught. Now, um, what is at stake here? when it comes to the discussion of headsmen and the discussion of um, the, the violence that has grown in leaps and bounds um, 
since um, nine, six, uh, nine, seven years ago, from the time, from the time that um, Obasanjo came into uh, into power until now, the the discussion of the headsmen have gently and quietly uh, crept into uh, the uh, the discourse of um, of the country of the country Nigeria now um, the the Ruga issue is a long time plan that is being actualized in favor of the of the Fulani people um, in favor of the Fulani people across Africa that are targeting Nigeria this is what we have understood and you need to get the information for you to draw your own uh, for you to draw your own uh, con uh, uh, conclusion now when we find ourselves in a country of over 300 and so ethnic um, nationalities and one particular nationality is being favored um, it will be foolish not to ask questions it would be foolish not to say no um, if you whichever way you perceive it and if you perceive it in a way that is wrong then it is the responsibility of the government both federal state local government to give you the right information that will lead you uh, to make um, the right decision clear even people like uh, retired General Lekwok and so many others have stated time and again how um, the Fulani headsmen came into their community decades ago as people wanting um, a piece of land near the marketplace where they can sell and trade uh, their, uh, their cattle and ended up um, imposing um, their way of life, emirates and things like that on, uh, on, on Nigeria and on Nigerians. Now, if this be the case, and if federal government says that that is not the case, it's not a matter of being angry with people. It is not a matter of arresting people. It is a matter of taking it upon yourself to explain to people that you obviously are saying have misunderstood what you're trying to do now when you set up a radio station for an ethnic nationality in nigeria that has over 350 and you're going to speak a language that the rest of the other ethnic nationalities do not understand you cannot blame the queries the ogonis the jaws the ethics the uh, tv people if they ask questions and that is what we're doing why and how did we come about where the federal government is using the funds of nigeria that is coming from one particular area, i.e. Niger Delta, to set up a radio station that will speak a particular language and drive a particular culture and religion as opposed to the other ethnic nationalities not having the same, uh, the same favor for whatsoever it is. If you give something to them, <clears throat> then you must also consider that anybody who does not get the same favor will ask why they're not getting the same favor. That's one. While we are grappling with that discussion, we, it has now come out that the plan has been ongoing to move the discussion and the implementation of uh, going from ranching 
to colon, uh, cattle colony and other things, you have now approved that every state is required to give land for the settlement of um, headsmen. Listen, if you listen to some of the arguments that are, some of the discussion, when you listen to, uh, to, uh, to government people discussing for and against this uh, proposal and project, sometimes you can throw up. Because if you are saying that um, it is because people in, say, river state want to eat beef, that is why you will now have to take a land from river state and give it to the people who are business people bringing this cattle to come and sell, then rivers people must decide for themselves whether they think they want to give up their land so that they can eat beef. That is their choice. Because if they don't, then they must make it clear to the federal government through the, uh, the governance system of River State, i.e. the governor, and I'm happy that the governor have also joined uh, the other governors that are saying that River State does not have land to give to Fulani uh, people to bring cattle to sell to us to eat beef. I don't eat beef and I'm calling on our people to consider by cutting beef as one of the ways of making sure that strangers do not come and take over our land because we want to eat nama. That, that is one way of looking at it. The other way of looking at it is our representatives, our lawmakers, the people that are in Abuja representing us in the National Assembly and the um, uh, House of Representatives and our lawmakers right down here in, um, uh, in River State. And the local government chairmen have a role to play because they are the chairman in the different localities of 23 local governments that is the government that we see and they must be in a position to protect our land now in also discussing that and pointing this out last year if we remember towards the the, the middle or the tail end of last year